criteria of good literature review. In this module, we are going to cover pitfalls to be avoided in literature review and qualities of good literature review. At the end of this module, you will be able to discuss the pitfalls to be avoided while writing the literature review and list the criteria of a good literature review. The first pitfall to be avoided is over reliance on web material and general textbooks. When you use the material from the web, it is very necessary to check for authenticity and authority of the material. Check who is the author. Then what is the website? Is it academic website? Is it government website? Then authentication is there. So whatever material you are choosing from the net, the, there should be authenticity. The author should be authority. And such authors, the material by such authors can be chosen. So over-reliance on the web requires that web should be used very carefully. Secondly, while we are using textbooks, textbooks are just secondary sources of information as we have seen elsewhere. As secondary sources, you can start from textbook but you need not take the textbooks in within your literature review. The textbook may have, the author of the textbook may have referred to other books which are useful and good. Then go to that material instead of referring to the textbook. It is not proper to go to the over rely on the textbook because it is secondary material and not primary source which gives research or original research. We have already seen the first pitfall that is over reliance on websites and general textbooks. The next pitfall is old seminal papers or even books and recent important research papers with basic contribution should not be skipped. Avoid broad and shallow approach to the literature that you have got. Sometimes the researcher lists the articles and just joins the articles together or the gists of the articles are joined together or the list of the articles is joined together and presented as a chapter. This should be completely avoided. This is very shallow approach of looking towards literature review. Then listing, only listing relevant literature, this should also be avoided. Instead of giving the gist, people just start listing the relevant literature and there is no comparison, there is no analytical review. This should be avoided. Good literature review. Features of good literature review are, it goes beyond simply listing relevant literature. It goes on comparing and analytically describing the literature. It assesses the range of literature that is available in the libraries and also on the net. It is critical summary of literature. Here critical is an important term not just a summary. You just don't have to join the abstracts together. Good literature review examines the background against which you are going to set your own research. How this happens, let us see. When you are critically and analytically looking at the literature you have collected, naturally you will think of your own topic and also think how you can set your own topic within a background of whatever you have collected or history of your own topic. For example, if you have chosen open access as a topic 
of research. Then you will see all the books, material on open access. Think about open access moment and think of the direction in which it is going now. Think of the pros and cons, the topics that are being explored for and against open access and then you can decide your own direction or focus of your research. This is the way within this background you can set your own research when it is good literature review. Thus a good literature review offers opinions and personal responses to different writings. So your own opinion should, be, should be reflected in the literature review. A good literature review also relates, compares and contrasts the different writings to each other. It does not take the literature reviewed at face value, just listing the resources. Summary. To summarize, we have seen the pitfalls to be avoided in writing literature review or conducting literature review and also the qualities of good literature review. Thank you.